How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. Uh, today's video, I'm, I'm throwing a, a coupon at you, which is from the Ramonis World Championship North American Finals. America Champions is your coupon code. Make sure you punch that in in game, score yourself some free loot, and I have something extremely special that's going to be the rest of this video, and it's an interview with our North America Ramonis World Championship Season 2 Champions. Too Much and Slaughter Roy from Heidel and their partner, their teammate Big Eye from Kaya. This is just a totally laid back raw unedited interview where we kind of just hang out talk about what just happened and uh, and i'm just gonna sort of throw it in so it, it was a lot of fun these these guys worked extremely hard to take home this championship and the matches themselves were absolutely incredible so hopefully you enjoy this uh big big huge shout out to too much slaughter roy and big guy incredible incredible performance and honestly a massive shout out to to his team ascension as well who who placed second in the world championships that is zeplik filthy df and x light the finals made it all the way to a game seven and it was absolutely incredible hope you enjoyed this interview i'll catch up with you after it slaughter 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 too much oh my gosh what did I just watch? Shit. What Yo. did I just watch? Our uh, adrenaline is still rushing through. You, can, I, still... you probably can't even see straight. My hands are still shaking, believe it or not. I've like, never it's... seen so much choke and throw on <laughs> both sides. Game oh and but the, the craziest part is if, if either game, I think it was four or five, was extended by right. two more seconds, yeah, it was over. We're definitely it was i mean the thing is like when it comes to a three on three match like uh three wins each side match it just gets so much more like tense and like aggravating it just makes it so much more harder to even think straight at times so it's just an incredible win yeah we were really tilted like i, I like i know but slaughter was like really good at um calming us down slaughter i got yeah. one question for you and this is just yeah, about the last game uh what in the actual F were you doing in the middle of the map when he popped that freeze? <laughs> I was, <laughs> what are you? What I've always been doing. It's like no, I posted, forward. if you look at the general chat, I posted a picture of you in the general <laughs> chat of, of the Please Discord here. That. I posted a picture. I was picture. taunting. I was taunting. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that picture yeah, it was, right now. And this is gonna be the it was, it was a taunt. It was a taunt. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. a taunt. <laughs> I mean, coming into the tournament, we kind of knew, like, it's going to be super hard for us, knowing that we we're, like, super low CP. So we just had to, like, adjust our strategies based off on, like, what has to be done uh, to win the game. We didn't care. I know a lot of people look down on us, like, we don't fight much. We just, like, like run around. There's nothing but, to look yeah. down on. It's a yeah, strat. It's, just, it's a game. It's, like, it's, we do it to win, and uh, that's what we did. We are always on a disadvantage. Always. Absolutely. Yeah. Big guy, as soon as I, gave I, you, I, um, I, gave, I gave you a channel. I just, I'm going to ping you in it right now. It's right above us. It says the word interview that you can type in as well to have input because I, I know you don't have a mic. Walk me through. Walk me through as much as you can remember about that series. Start at game one. Not that you probably can't even remember anything, but walk me through it. I want to I wanna hear what you have to say. You take it too much. Do you remember? I don't remember anything, dude. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, game one was I mean, going into the series, we kind of knew, uh, we kind of hoped that Ascension would win uh, because we were more familiar with them and stuff like that. But uh, game one was kind of easy. But then as we went on from game two to game three, their strategies started getting different and they try to do new things every time. It kind of threw us off. Uh, game two, I think, I believe we won again, or I think they won, I'm not sure. But it definitely threw us off, and they started winning. They started catching up to us, and it became three on three. Uh, and at that point, we just had to like take a breather. We had to calm down. We had to collect ourselves. And it was game f <laughs> game four was insane. Uh, sorry, game seven. Game seven was insane. I I recorded the whole thing, so I'm I'm definitely going to be uh, reproducing the footage. Uh, of the actual games i wish i remembered yeah. more so game four and game five i believe no maybe it was five but maybe it was five and game six you guys were like a game second and, and a half 
away yeah. from winning both times. Yeah, we did a big mistake a couple of those games. Uh, that's when we knew we were like tilting. Uh, we kind of we kind of took fights that we didn't really have to. Uh, it's especially since we had the lead, you know, uh, because that's all we've been practicing, uh, trying to evade, uh, trying to disengage. Uh, but we kind of like got ahead of ourselves at points and we made mistakes. But yeah, we kind of recovered pretty well uh, at the end there. Don't fight! Don't fight the fights you don't have to. Right? That, Absolutely. I mean, yeah, we got the fights you can win. That's been our motto. We got really cocky at the end because we, we because we got Lagos. Uh, we thought we were gonna win, and that wasn't the case. See now, now this and this is a veteran move that I saw used on my team. So when when I was doing some early scrims, we we would scrim SWD Voltex and Eminem a lot. And they always had the CP advantage on my team, no matter what. And uh, when we, we would, but we would be really good at the Lagos last hit. And what we saw them do is the adjustment that I saw Ascension do during that during that game when they were when they finally were down facing elimination. Uh, what I call one of the best strats, if you're the team with the CP advantage, is to force Lagos the second it spawns, because exactly. Lagos is not as dangerous if you kill it at like a minute thirty, a minute twenty. The buff wears off at 50 seconds, and you have a 50 entire seconds to still win that match. For example, one case and point, game seven. You guys did not yep. win the Lagos last hit, but because it was so early, you, I, you, oh, I can't, I can't even, I can't yeah, even. Yeah, we didn't even have a CP advantage to like pick up the game, but we noticed that strat as soon as like Voltex, SWD, and Eminem kind of scrimmed with us. They went ah, for early yes. lagos. We noticed that, and they, then we were like, learned, "That's yeah. it." Exactly. We, so that immediately had a discussion with my team, like, "Hey, this is exactly the thing which would kill us, uh, and we have to find a way to, you know, do whatever we can to stop that." So we decided to, you know, compete for lagos and do our best to just like not die, basically. So we, if we had enough of a point advantage, the rate at which we die would wouldn't affect the lead as much. So that was basically our counter. Uh, strategy for that of course and then whether or not you actually get the lagos that that actual lagos last hit early too absolutely. obviously plays a big part absolutely <sighs> yeah uh, the I, entire, not... it's been like two months since we've just been practicing lagos last hits because we knew that was the only way we can win a game i literally counted you out i i literally was like that but i said the words might at least at least i didn't throw myself <laughs> under the bus like that might be it there's that that lagos you were down by over half so you guys talked about getting cocky in some of, in some of your games where you were picking fights you couldn't have. Nobody got cockier than Team Ascension did in game number seven. They took that Lagos last hit. They had double your score and they just kept picking the fights. There's 25 seconds left. You are up by two times your opponent's score. Why in the world are you picking that fight? They picked that fight with you guys. You picked up, it was a lightning, right? That came through as a sweep at the end. I do remember that. Yeah, the lightning came through. You dropped filthy and X light, and and then that was it. Slot, but slaughter, slaughter comes out of that absolute <laughs> one. Do you know your HP? Do you remember the HP number? Yeah, it was like two hundred. It'll be ingrained in your brain forever. And then you can't see it right now, but I have the picture up as the background of this, and it's been here for half of this interview. It is <laughs> slaughter Roy frozen in the middle of the screen, just standing there, one shot, and you can see. Zeplik in this photo on the screen. He has a line of sight of you and instead of literally turning to the right Taking one step actually he can probably hit you with a descending current from where he's standing He ran. Yeah, around. I mean <laughs> that comes with the game Like I feel like psychology plays a lot in this game Like when you when you're up against an underdog you kind of take them lightly so you're more likely to make mistakes so we kind of took, I mean, going throughout the series, everyone's been like underestimating us, overestimating, I mean, sorry, underestimating us and like overextending their abilities and they just fall and they make mistakes and you just take advantage of that. Not not to mention that, uh, oh, so and, and Big Eye stepping in and Big Eye says, me not hiding in the bush costed us game six. Some, <laughs> some, you actually remember game six? I literally have to go rewatch everything. My brain is mush. I uh, I streamed I streamed the tournament live to the official BDM Discord, and mm -hmm. uh, and like kind of showcasted it a bit myself. It was, it was a lot of fun. We had like 20 people in there watching the stream. It was yeah. uh, it was cool. But um, I believe opponent team all died. Yeah, 
but I stood there in open. <laughs> um, no, I, I, do you remember what was, so what was, okay, you say you were taunting. So I believe you were in the side bush, not even in the middle of the arena. One no, shot. No, I wasn't even in the bush. I was like outside. Well, when you got frozen, you're outside. But I'm trying to yeah. walk through your thought process in the last 10 seconds of this. Uh, uh, wh why are you even in the middle of the map? <laughs> <laughs> you should be behind I your think, own spawn. I don't, I, I don't know. I think my lightning ran out. And I was like, all of a sudden, oh. it just hit me that I have like, oh my god, I have no HP. And that, as, immediately I was frozen. So I, had, I couldn't even move. To, now, like, uh, now it's all coming back to me. You are right. Yeah. You're the one who picked up the lightning on right. one shot. And, and, this, and this was the thing they the commentators were all like and slaughter's dead slaughter slaughter's dying he's dying he's dying he's dead he's not dead slaughter's not yeah. dead and then it's because in that kind of situation where you literally had their team on top of you trying to finish that kill off you pick up the, the most clutch lightning underneath your feet and just roll <laughs> two of them over and too much your cc this this match this tournament was incredible i uh, one thing that you just you were always there when your team needed to get a knockdown or any kind of cc of any kind and allowing your team to pick your teammates to pick the kills up if you didn't pick them up yourself oh but, man uh, yeah I, I supported everybody here yeah. um oh holy my shit. gosh that yes was... I, i'm still i'm still like shaking man like <laughs> i can't put it to words like did you the, see the, 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 the... did you guys didn't you guys weren't watching the stream did you see the statue the statue? Yeah. Did you see Wait, what the, the statue? statue looks like that's going in your camp? They announced no. it during oh, the stream. Oh no, we, we haven't actually logged into the game at all. Like, no, <laughs> Wait, so you, you won't get it right now. But I'm gonna I'm gonna find my video recording and I'm gonna pull it up and I'll share a picture with you. you. They announced today that you guys are receiving a statue that is going to go in your camp and oh, and cool. literally sit in your camp and be. <clears throat> Let so me, it's basically it only for visitors to like watch and like. Yeah, nice. Everybody is gonna visit my. I don't shit. think any. I don't think I have any uh, visitors in my camp, anyways. Unless someone like switch instances. <laughs> <laughs> they just by mistake run into my statue. They're like, oh, what's this doing here? Here we go. I got the. I got the. Uh, oh, I have the actual matches up now. This is cool. I can thumb through the matches. Should have had this from the start, but uh, they showed at the end. There it is. It's. Uh, so how do I get? How do I get you? A, I gotta get you a copy of this. I'll I'll screen capture it in a second when I can get my. This this is the coolest part. This is so much cooler than even the pet because nobody can see the pet. It just seems dark to me. I don't know why, but it, the, the picture will work. I think. Oh, I could stream to you guys. Hold on, here I'll I'll, sh I'll share my screen. Yeah, that's the easiest that's way better. to show you. Go live. There it is. You're going to get this statue, and it's going to go in your camp. Oh, that's cool. It's golden. Ramona's. Wait, where, where is it? Uh, 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 look at the my... Discord live stream. The stream. Discord live stream. Discord live stream. It's on his State Classic server. The what? So you're in here talking to me, right? So in this chat oh you were able to see the live stream that i'm sending no oh live stream okay 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 my bad i i'm like stoked right now i don't no, know no, what no, to... no. it all it just disappeared let me get it back there it is oh there we go oh shit dude yo it is, that is so lit. Nice. <laughs> it is so nice i know where i'm gonna place my trees around now yeah this is the center point of your you had to, re you had to redo the whole camp <laughs> i have to now it's gonna be Bro, my, my camp is super ugly like holy get crap. that town hall out of the way it's this ramona's world championship no. season two statue we... <laughs> my decorations man. are going to be all around this one. Oh man so um you you want to know how we um picked up big guy yes Mr. so Madaya, uh, right Kaya, no, he's Kaya, 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 my bad. So I saw him on your Twitch comment. So he was active there. So I was like, oh, I know who, I, like, he seems cool. And I just, after that, he just, um, I met him on PvP Arena. And then I was like, oh, he's pretty good. Why don't we, like, invite him? And uh, Roy did all all the inviting and stuff. So uh, it just it just happened. Like, it, it was from your stream. That's wicked. Uh, right. Yes. I, I just can't even tell you how awesome it is that the underdog of the, not even of the finals, the underdog of the entire tournament pulls it entire. through. Entire. And oh, what shit. that says about 
Ramonis too. I just like that it, it it should really hopefully encourage everyone to try playing Ramonis and really know that you can win. It's not all about CP, and it really isn't. There's so much. It's got strength. a lot of potential for sure. But I, the one thing I would like to like maybe address on uh, the future of Ramonis is maybe like uh, maybe like a a normalization of CP because the differences in CP with free to play and pay to play players are becoming so wide of a gap that like skill doesn't even matter anymore you can just like be and, and, not skillful right. and, and still win the games yeah and and talking about skill your your team's level of skill is is on an entire different continent than any <laughs> average player will be too and and that's kind of adding on what you just said for any casual person to kind of just want to pick up Ramonis and come in, unless they're like 6.5k plus CP, they're probably going to get rolled. Like right. at least at least 6.3k like even. It, it, otherwise, the CP just takes over in its entirety. One thing I would, I, I love R Ramonis. I love hosting Ramonis tournaments. I've been a little bit dis di uh, like discouraged from hosting tournaments in the last month or so, only because the cp plays that big of a part right. too like it it really it comes does. down to I, I hosted two tournaments in a row in the highest cp team both times won those tournaments and it just it was tough i, I wanted to keep progressing them into potentially having like a small buy-in mm -hmm. to help grow a, a consistent pool that people would want to actually uh entice them to, to buy into the tournament and play for a bigger prize pool which would be great but i, I myself couldn't even say that i would want to play in the tournament so why would I expect anyone else to? It's as a CP really does matter. It does in 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 a, right. a huge way. I, I know mean, the commentators say CP doesn't matter, but it definitely plays a role. Oh, I mean the like, commentators were still calling it pretty accurate. There was a boatload of RNG. Uh, right. on, I mean, obviously you guys practiced Lagos last hits, and if you were to say who who had the most Lagos last hit experience between you and Ascension, Ascension's play style in in itself automatically yeah. says that they don't because there's meant there was a few games where they didn't even kill lagos and simply yeah. put they don't have to and their win win condition usually would actually be to not kill lagos because you don't because you just they just don't have to if they can control the game win the pvp fights like they did against every single team yeah. they're gonna come out on top but that lagos gets forced you guys oh my gosh the last hits <laughs> but we say that and you still won game seven without the lagos kill yeah, it was a grim moment, especially like we are so dependent on Lagos to last hits. And I can tell you personally, like I was kind of disheartened when they got the last hit. And we okay. just had to like, you know, pull back, reset and just rethink our strategy. Because the thing is, like they went for an early Lagos. So that was to our advantage. But uh, we definitely had a breather, you know, uh, to be able to like wear out their buffs, wait till they... You know, and the thing is, they weren't even attacking at that point. They should be. They should have been attacking us while they still have the buff. But, so I have uh, this last game, hundred percent. I have this last game playing. So uh, it was, it was 30, 33 seconds left. Thirty seconds left. Ascension is up one, twenty-three seconds left, and Ascension is up one hundred to fifty. Twenty-three <laughs> seconds left, and and we have a filthy DF. Getting double teamed by too much and big eye in the corner. Slaughter, you're hiding in the middle of the map. You're you're already still absolute one shot here. But where did you pick up the lightning? Is what I wanted to see. Uh, bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. So you were you were fighting on the way to it. I can see the fights. Yeah. You just get slammed by Zeplik. Zeplik lays oh, down yeah. the beat the beat onto you. That lightning spawned under your feet, didn't it? <laughs> While you I, were I think mid -grab. It was running towards it though, right? I don't remember now. I like. It's crazy. Okay, you you go across the map. Uh, Mass, do you remember the um the match where uh, we got Lagos? That was our fifth game, and uh, like Slaughter was like telling me to get the lightning, but I didn't know where he was. But it's it was like right behind me. I couldn't see it. Oh, <laughs> but no. so they got it, and we um we just snowball from there. This is game five, right? You said game five. Yeah, it should have been. A, I believe so. Yeah, we were. Was that was three to last one. Match. This yeah. would be the first, your first opportunity to lock the game out. Mm hmm. Do you know when the lightning was? I think I'm going to pull it, it up was, on the screen here. Uh, it was after Lagos. After Lagos. Okay, so we're, yeah. we're looking at Lagos go down. Yeah, right remember now. that? Right, right? 18 bars. Uh huh. So Roy was like, yo, get Lagos the lightning. Get almost the lightning. defeated. 
filthy DF Pixelagos kill. It's it's 6280 after another. It was only 70 72. That was weird. I guess that's not it. 66 the, to 84. Crazy. One minute left. There could still be a lightning that pops up here. Was it after Lagos died? It was game six. It was game six. My bad. My game bad. Six. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's jump oh, up to yeah. game six. I want to catch this. We had the Lagos there. We we were. Okay. Yeah. So so they killed the Lagos in game five. So game six. Oh gosh. Oh, you don't even want to hear these scores about game six. Big guy with the last hit on the Lagos. It's seventy-eight to forty-two. Uh, there, and there and there come big guy picks up another kill onto filthy df it's 89 to 37 and x light survives with one third health 89 to 37 one minute left Whew. you got it's, it's game five what's going through your head 92 to 37 big guy picks up an orb and i'm, I'm looking for this lightning now it hasn't spawned yet slaughter picks up a freeze 90. that's like over there there it is over there. <gasps> Oh. This spawned right oh. behind me. Oh I my couldn't gosh. see it. And then you all died to it because you were it. all on top of it. Yeah, I couldn't see it. That that tilted me the most. Like, oh man, you were under. It was underneath you. Slot. Well, sl well, slaughter was there too. Oh my god. He's like, get the lightning. Get the lightning. Get the I was looking at the map. Where's the lightning? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we basically do call outs on whoever's closer, so that we just. Orb efficiency. We don't have to all run into one. There it is. There's two of you both basically oh, on what? top of that lightning. And then because it was Can a 2 on 2. This? Can we not watch this? Can we 2 on 2 into the. Oh, and, no. And, and 80 to 59. It's still big eye, though. But he's absolute one shot. So it's just a matter of time before he gets sniffed to die here. But if So slaughter. Slaughter, you mm -hmm. actually. You potentially cost your team the game in that you. instant, too. Yes. In that instant. Roy, what the fuck? <laughs> Slaughter Roy stole the lightning, and I was screaming it out loud during this cast. I was like, oh, a lightning! If, if he gets the lightning, it's GG! And Slaughter <laughs> steals the lightning from under his attack that would have saved Big Eye's life and clinched this match out as well. But what, is okay, it, what does it matter? Sorry. Why did he do this? <laughs> 77, here it is. That filthy, us. filthy. Yeah, no, that, two. That filthy. Was Come on. Really... Too no. much, too much. You were stuck in a salve that entire time, too. Oh. I hate salve because you can't cancel it. Oh man, yeah, filthy was pretty good at dodging there. Like, it was insane. That we was, probably, I mean, I, on hindsight, we probably should have just stayed focused on orbs, uh, get the lead on orbs. Yeah, yeah. so I we called, <laughs> I, I did a post game from that specific game there, and I said. Uh, I guy to slaughter got baited by filthy being last being mm -hmm. absolute one shot two more orb spawn if we do another quick look yeah. at that at that match and sort of break down the last 19 seconds so it's 73 78 the orb game boom you pick up uh, too much picks up the salve there's 77 78 unfortunately it's 15 seconds that puts too much out of this entire match no, like we have to get the salve like we had to yeah 100 percent. otherwise you would have yeah, right? won I, mm -hmm. I just said it's unfortunate because that yeah. does put you out of the game. So now it's a three on two. No one can die, but we're just lo we're looking at the mini map right now for orbs. There's one right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> 77 to 78, three seconds left. That orb. And there's another one that spawned in the middle that you guys just ran away from as well, which Zeplik just killed now to make it 82 and then 86. So two orbs spawned at 77, 78. If you'd simply had gotten both of those, that all was also away. But I Roy, I, I saw that. I saw that, bro. You're <laughs> right there. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you got me. I was screaming, man. Dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hate you, Roy. I... <laughs> We're all pretty tilted there. <laughs> like, I, w I was legit screaming. Like, like, <laughs> but Roy sad. was like calming us down and stuff at the last game. Holy shit. We, we thought we were going to lose. Like our first e game ever, we almost lost that. The very, very first game. Yeah, yeah. Roy was like, oh, "I guess it's over, man." Like, but uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you, we, we thought we were gonna lose that one. We were gonna lose. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember that. Game number one. Let's do a quick, quick play by play. Oh, no, 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 not, not, not this game. Like the whole tournament. Oh, sorry. Uh, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't believe we made it this far. Like, yeah. You're you're, you're the you're the CP. The, the underdog dream. I'm always an underdog guy. Always, always, always. First round of tourney. Big eyes. Big eyes got some. We won because we killed someone and turned around. Honestly, uh, Ascension baited you guys into playing their game. Over the course of that entire match, 
uh each each game i would say personally that you guys you every single game that progressed all the way to game seven you started playing less of the guy to slaughter game and more of the ascension game you were picking way more fights every single time game one i think you guys probably had a negative six kd at least negative maybe negative 10 even and you won yeah but and you were up by like eight to nine orbs but it's, but you kept you kept fighting more, and uh, I think you're doing the unravel of games like four, five, and six. And uh, sorry, I guess it was five and six because it was three to one. So game five and six were the potential lockout, lockout games. Yep. Game six, I think it was game six. You guys came out five zero. Do you guys remember that game? Game six. I think it was no, game it was, six. It you was, opened was up five zero. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. This is game Wait, seven. Wait, what do you mean by five L? Five kill wise, you opened up oh. and just oh, decimated. Yeah. We, we thought we were gonna lose, win that because like we were like doing everything fucking perfectly. It was like they just sort of fell apart. But maybe it was actually the first elimination game. Maybe it wasn't game six because this doesn't look. Well, I guess this is a little early. Kills just haven't happened yet. No, so it wasn't game six. It must have been game five. Yeah, your first chance to close it out. You guys dominated game five. The entire mm -hmm. thing, opening up. So it, there's two minutes 30 seconds you're up 56 to 23. none of none of you have died every member on ascension has less than 10 points meaning you full wiped their entire team this game game five was your game to win this tournament Dang, you, you oh, dominate the game you're up by 33 points at two minutes you're, we're, you're gonna move on to then take lagos as well <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, we, we were about, that is uh, that was a mistake point. Which you were it, very, it went, very fucking. Um, oh no, filthy. Okay, oh, filthy they DF stole. They never they mind. It, so yeah. it was their steal on Lagos that flipped this one upside down. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game six it was, actually was the game domination. Six. Yeah, game yeah. six. We. It was that fucking lightning or right like on behind me. Like. They took I was that confused. lightning orb. Double killed you. GG. I, I was fucking confused. I. I he was like, there's a lightning. I, I don't know where it is. Like my minimap, I was looking at my minimap, but I, I couldn't see it. Cause like, so I was confused. And suddenly they got a lightning and they fucking wiped us. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what, 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 what were the prizes for first? 20,000 white pearls. Oh, hell yeah. 20, I'm about the whale. You're a whale. <laughs> Too much the, the whale. <laughs> $500 US worth of white pearls. Yeah, that's pretty uh, I heard that the pet was tier a tier five pet. I heard Joel say tier five on stream. Mm -hmm. Tier five. Our goal was the the crown. Yeah, the crown is like, what ties only us. um six per person can um have that. Yep, six people and now this have whole that crown. Freaking, um, but you're the only perfect. three actually that you're the only two that have it on Heidel. The yep. gold crown. That's They're it. giving out yep. three crowns, so they are giving back all the. So there's be a bronze yeah. and a silver crown. So. Oh man. Yeah, um, we were kind of salty about that. <laughs> so like, Bape will what? have <laughs> the sil Bape yeah. will get the silver crown. I believe they got second, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't do. remember whose teammates were. Morty's, Morty's and um, and September sixth. September sixth will have the silver yeah. crown. But you were the only people on Heidel with gold crowns, and Big Eye is sharing his gold crowns on Kaya, of course, with uh, Aaron's, oh, yeah, Big Aaron's Guy. team. Represent Medaille, crownless. Crownless, yeah, because we beat their um, beat their you know. The best. <laughs> 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 yeah, I my, mean, they beat us on Rumi's tournament, so <laughs> we were like very alert about it. So we studied every single move they made. I'll still remember. They're they're the ones who beat. Uh, they are the ones who knocked me out of round one. That game hurt. Oh, yeah, round one. I oh, mean, we you got raced them. You raced them round one. Yeah. No way. Holy shit. That that's damn. Yeah, it wasn't easy for us. Um, like every, I think every every team got a freebie at least once. Um, oh, surprisingly, like got one. Free. So did you? <laughs> yeah, like the best possible way. Like, Could I mean, you... Slaughter was very disappointed. He wanted to fight. Like we researched everything. We went to um, fight Dark Knights and shit. We tested Dark Knights. We did everything. But they were the only Dark, Dark Knight in the finals, yeah. and we wanted to exactly. see that Dark Knight buff. Oh my yeah. gosh! You know what? That. That speedy Gonzalez skill that Dark Knights just picked up would let them teleport across the freaking uh, map, and apparently they can insta cast at any time to get out of it as well. That is right. crazy, oh Ramona's so skill. And it's invincibility too. Yeah, and it's invincibility, so nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah. We were looking forward to that, actually. Uh, I mean, any match like you don't do, it kind of gives you, it kind of cheapens like the victory. Well, get, not so. to mention, you guys go into the finals with cold feet. Ascension right. goes into the finals having just stomped out the, the legendary team in a, oh, in a massive three-one sweep, and and get, they, they got their guns, their everything, engines roaring, rolling into the finals, and and have to come up against you guys. Denied your semi. Yep, denied yeah, once sure. and denied once again. They were picking. Well, we had a three-one score. Like we had a good lead too, and they. Just yeah, we got really how they fought out, hockey. Sure. Holy shit. We definitely got caught cocky at the game five. Uh, we should have won that actually. But, yeah. Uh, well, I'll be yeah, I'll be rewatching every top single top. one of the games myself, and uh, I'm excited to just take a closer look too. And I'm sure all of you will enjoy rewatching the footage and really trying to pick apart where you think you went wrong. Absolutely, that's always a good. Yeah. Critique. Oh yeah, we're just um, we're looking forward to um, other minor leagues. I, I think we're overqualified, but. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Slaughter, <laughs> the footage on you in the last game, you're you you are right. Your lightning ended almost right. to the perfect timing when Zeppelin hit that freeze the second you dropped lightning, and then you were just kind of stuck yep. in on place. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Right. Probably at least about five seconds before that, when you knew your lightning was get or was running out, you 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 could have retreated, and and so you knew your lightning was going to end with you in a really safe space in a bush. Right. One shot, at, 50 points. At that point, I totally forgot that I had no health. I uh -huh. was so invested in, like, getting kills and this well, and that. Like, obviously, you just got a double kill to steal the game. <laughs> How did. did you not? <laughs> and I was, like, looking for the third guy. And then, like, I was stuck in the middle. And I was like, where is the third guy? And then I get frozen all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, shit, I have, like, 300 HP. This is not good. So you played this entire tournament with Big Eye not having a mic. Absolutely. To boot, that is nuts. But mind you, a, t a game could be played very well with two with two mics, and I'm, I almost even would prefer it. You just just silence one yeah. guy. I, it's honestly, less noise yeah, it's, sure. there's less noise. And if you sil and if one that one person's always, sil it's just it becomes the norm. Then they, as somebody without a mic, you become a really good listener, by by necessity, because you have no no other contribution. So a really good listener and follower. Let two people do some communication and make the calls. I actually kind of like that dynamic. No, yeah, Big Guy has been amazing uh, throughout the tournament. He's always been like the player game changer. He's always been the one who's chip damaging opponents, even though, and it's just been the synergy between us that he already knows what we're up to without even like us telling him or him telling us. So it's it's been amazing playing with him for sure. Well, that's uh, that's that's coming near the end of my time here. Do you have any, guys anything else you want to say? Anything um, at all? <laughs> not much, really. Oh uh, yeah, we're just stunned actually. So like, yo, thanks for the interview, man. Oh, this, yeah. I just kind of like was like, hey, I, I'm here. I, I was I was gonna just kind of throw up the the code because they said that uh, they they give us this Ramona season two coupon code America Champions. Make sure you throw that in game. I don't I don't even know what the rewards are yet myself. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting us know. We have no idea about this. <laughs> we just, I just got that. But I, I'm not too sure, actually. Okay. Um, I haven't. Uh, I haven't looked at the rewards yet. I'll do it later. Oh, minute, an hour thirty. I got. I got two and a half, two and a half hours to do my merch oh, tree now. Oh, we got um, yeah, uh, uh, boss stamps and um, whatever that is, um, tablets. That's it. That's yeah, not terrible. Good for us F2P players. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yep, for sure. That's no, not that's not any of you guys, of course. You, you giant whales now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's horrible. laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks, thanks for having us, Matt. Uh, spend super. spend those pearls wisely. Don't you dare waste them. Yeah, stuff. we're just gonna buy the bush. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the characters are, are gonna have the same costume. So like, you know, just buy the gathering costume for every single. Yo, character. yeah. Represent. <laughs> Hide Represent on bush. <laughs> oh, it took me a second. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys. Yeah, well, have, thanks for having You guys have a fantastic sure. night. Um, I'm Absolutely. looking forward to much more Ramonas action with all of you. Uh, yep. Absolutely. That's sweet. Thank you so much. Have a good give, night, give me man. a stay classy. Stay classy. Stay classy, bro. There it is. Always. Uh, big guy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, you let us down. Oh man, like. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy didn't have a mic, so like we were actually really frustrated. <laughs> oh, it did. So it was frustrating, at least at some points. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, uh, 
you, you want to be able to talk to all three. Yeah. I, I can't believe you did a whole tournament. Two mics? I, I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't. From all of my, anything I've ever done in my life, competitive-wise in gaming, voice communication, number one for me, always. We, we just did a telepathic, um, you know, communication. You know, we just, um, we could yeah, just, just connect. with the synergy. Yeah, we just connect. <laughs> It's just that, like, when you play it's so many Ramonis games, uh, you already know what to do and what not to do. So well, I will say, so you had a you had a Sork Paladin Paladin comp. So I, I'm gonna compare this. Someone I've watched play a ton of games is Voltex, SWD, and Eminem. A very similar comp, Paladin Paladin uh, Huntress. Obviously, everyone kind of playing the same roles. But what I will say that I see you guys do significantly better is your Paladins have different play styles where SWD and Eminem would both play very similarly, where it was just like kind of like a double offensive Paladin going for the kills, really closing in on like Voltex would get a knockdown, someone would get a knockdown and it was just swarm kill. Where too much, you play this extremely supportive Paladin. You're constantly, like, you're constantly getting CC and knockdowns all over the map. And Big Eye is that pounce and execute kills. Now, is that a CP thing as well? Big Eye, what is Big Eye's CP? Uh He's a bit higher than me, like about 50 CP more. <laughs> oh, so very close he's, then, but still. Yeah. Th those he's two different play styles 200. really help help you guys actually bring bring together a good team comp. I just I just look at Big Guy and uh, I just see what he's doing and I, I'm just there for him. That's it. I, yep. Oh man, we're just gonna call it a night. Like, it's, it's been a pleasure, holy shit. Like, all the fucking work we did, <laughs> it, it just paid off. How many hours a day? Did you play oh. play Ramonis? I don't I know. Mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I sat down. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would sit down, black out, and get up in the morning when the sun came up. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, when you're when you're having Every fun, day. you really don't see the time fly. So mm -hmm. I think we we'll put in like one and one or two hours. Five man. Yeah. As All a right. team, individually, you probably get more. You guys get out of here. Thanks for the interview. This okay. is great. Yeah, man. Holy shit. Thanks. It's probably going live Later. tomorrow. Catch it. I'll, I'll see you. Stay classy, man. Have a great night. Stay classy.